This is a demo of the Players tab on the NHL Lineup Optimizer. Once you select your site and your slate, a green check mark meaning it's a live slate, a red X meaning it's passed, then you select your projection source, cash, GPP, last five average or last 10 average. We show you the date and time we've updated. And then you can also upload, upload your projections if you wish. You can copy and paste directly in here. You can also update exposure at the same time. You can save your projection source with a new name, and you can watch this demo at any time. It'll give you details on how to do this exactly. But if you do save your projection set, it will display in this dropdown. You can use that at any time. Our advanced options allows you to bulk update players at once. So if you wanted to update multiple players, you could lock them all at the same time, exclude them all. You could add or subtract projection points. You could adjust exposure on all these players. And then down below, we have filters for the table. We have implied team total. You can filter by salary, projection, points per 1K. If you have any questions about any of these, just turn on this tips and just hover, and it'll tell you exactly what you, each of these are. You can diversify your lineups with uh, specifying a lower lineup budget, which is great for small slates. You can lock your utility position. You can select a number of unique players per team, which is great for multi-slates as well, multi-entries. You can also create your own profiles. So let's say I made all these updates and I wanted to save this for later in the day. I generated optimal lineups. I could go back in and save a profile. We'll just call it my fave. And then you'll see this is the profile and that's saved. And that's a snapshot of the tool at any time throughout the day. I can go back to that profile and update it, save it, delete it what have you. So it's a great way to save a ton of time if you know what, you're do what you want to do and you want to come back to it. Um, other than that, you can show your color codes. So we provide badges in each color to show you the, the better plays, which are in green, and the worst plays that are in red. You can turn those on and off. You can also turn on and off excludes from displaying in the table. And then you can generate optimal lineups from the advanced options as well. If you get into any problems, click this help button. If your tool gets to a point where it needs to bust the cache or you really just need to reset, Nuke Tool is the ultimate. It'll reset your entire tool. You'll lose all your updates. So make sure to only do that if you're certain you need to reset the entire tool. The Projections tab shows you all your projection sources side by side. You can apply our models, which once again, if you turn on those tips, it'll tell you exactly what each model does. It's a built-in model that updates projections. And when it does update, you'll see a box turn red or green, and that's the difference that we've updated the projection based on the model. You can also update your projections manually and do the same. You can uh, turn on and off exposure, which, uh, as you'll see in a second on the Players tab, I'll show you what that does. But for now, the Games tab shows you each game. You can exclude entire teams. You can send entire teams to the Bulk Update section by clicking this, red, this purple heart. Once you do that, it'll send all the players from that team here, and you can update them all at once. You can exclude entire games. You can see our game theory. And then on the Players tab for that exposure, like I was saying, once you update it, once you turn it on, you can edit it. And so what that 50% exposure does for a player that's not locked is it tells the optimizer that this player can display in 50% of these lineups or less. But if you lock that player, and you adjust that to 50%, you're telling the optimizer Connor McDavid has to be in five of these 10 lineups, or 50%. You can also turn on global player exposure, which updates the exposure column on all players, and that's great for multi-entry to give you a high diversity of players. You can select by position, and you can also search by players. And the big one is you can stack by lines. So you select the number of stacks, the team you want to stack, you can select the type of stack, whether it's an even line or a power play line. You can select the line number, and then we'll pre-populate the line for you. You can adjust that line by adding additional players if you want to stack an additional player, or you could even update the players in the, additional, in the initial line. So um, super powerful. You can build stacks around lines. And then we have got a research tab with additional stats here, advanced stats for you. We've got your exclude tab, which shows all your excludes. You can unexclude a player by clicking that X. You can lock a player by clicking the green. And when you do so, your locks will update here. You can see the total salary you have locked as well, as well as injuries. 
and then your generated lineups tab, which we built to be full service. So once you get to this tab, you should be able to do everything you need to find the winning lineup. So you have your total projection points. You can actually update these tabs and name them. Let's say you had an, uh, a line stack you wanted to save and you wanted to remind yourself what this tab was. You can update that. You've got your slate here. You've got the total projected points. If you hover over this, you can see the projection totals for all the other sources. You can save this lineup. You'll see that save icon go green. And then you can go to your save tab and see that save lineup there. You can then download a CSV of this lineup, and then you can upload that to DraftKings or Fandle, whatever site you're on. You can see the salary you used and the remaining. You can also swap in and out players at that position. So if you don't like a player, you can swap them out there. It, you can also update all your players and all your lineups here. This shows all the 18 players used in the 10 lineups and then the positions and your stacks. And so you can do everything you need to do here. Once you save lineups, you can go to your save lineups tab and see all your save lineups. You can download them all, remove them all, or, or update some more. So this concludes the tutorial for the save lineups demo.